Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again for uh, another video. And this is for the Halloween Extravaganza movie review episode 9 for Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. That I just got done watching. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for this movie and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now... This stars Robert England as Freddy Krueger, of course. <laughs> and this movie came out like, wow, like 33 years ago. I'm like, damn, <laughs> it's pretty old, but it was pretty good. Um, there were a lot of uh kids that died in this movie, in the movie, not in real life. Uh, of course, uh, Larry Fishburne, or also known as Lawrence Fishburne, uh, later on he changed the name of his acting name, uh, which that's probably his real name, uh, but yeah, he was good in the movie, played as the, uh, one of the hospice people in the movie, and I really liked his character too. Uh, he played a character named Max in the movie. And Nancy comes back. Heather Langenkamp comes back as Nancy again. Uh, from the first one. And, yeah, uh, this movie was pretty good. Uh, there's a l I think the sickest part was probably... There wasn't a really a lot of gross stuff in this one, but... I think the sickest part is where he showed the souls of the children thing. Give me strength. And you see the children on his body. And I'm like, ugh, that's gross. Uh, it was pretty gross. But, yeah. I think the fourth movie kind of gave me nightmares. The fourth and the fifth one were probably the most grossest most disgusting ones I've ever seen. Robert England got very creative uh, playing as Freddy and wanted to try different things with his character. And that's what I really like about Robert England that he's not afraid to try something different playing as the same character role as Freddy Krueger again. Because this is the third film that he's in playing as Freddy Krueger. He did eight films. Along with Freddy vs. Jason, which is the final film. Uh, but, yeah, this was a pretty good movie. Um, the characters Kincaid and uh, Kristen were pretty good. Taryn was one of the characters, and so was Will. And they were in pretty much most of the movie and there's another character named Joey he kinda was a silent character in the movie he didn't really talk much but he found his dream power towards the uh, end of the movie and now he can talk again which I really like about that uh, but overall Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors is pretty good uh, I wouldn't call it great. There's some scenes in the movie that tended to, like, some of the kill scenes in the movie were not as great as 4 and 5. Because 4 and 5 were really gross, but also didn't do so bad. Because um, he got creative. He got a little bit more creative as they're in number three and four and five. Uh, somewhat in three, but mostly in Nightmare on Elm Street four and five, he got very creative. And with his character, Robert England did. And yeah, out of ten, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of ten. This is a pretty outstanding movie. Um, it personally... It's probably one of my favorites, but I think number four and five were pretty much my favorites because they got pretty good. And 
uh, pretty gross too. There's one s kill scene in the movie. Uh, uh, one of these girls gets killed by Freddy Krueger, and it's really gross. But I'll talk about it on Friday for the next Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movie review I do for the Halloween Extravaganza episode. But anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Halloween Extravaganza movie review I did for Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors for Episode 9 if you liked it. And if you like this uh, Halloween Extravaganza movie review comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel i will be returning to you for a couple track reviews today i'll be doing a uh, skins columbine track review i gotta research into that track before doing that review do some research on that track and see what it's about before I make my review for it and then I'll be doing Bad Omens uh, Never Know Unplugged track review along with uh, BB Rexa Baby I'm Jealous featuring Joja Cat in that for that track review so I got a vast amount of song reviews to do for most of the day so I don't even know if I'm gonna have free time to do anything else but if I don't get to all the tracks today it'll be tomorrow for the rest of them and yeah hopefully you like this uh Halloween extravaganza movie review sorry about the ding it does that with this phone uh, it's like a I don't know it does this notification ding or whatever and it's kind of a little annoying at times but it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'll be returning to you soon for another video, which will be for a track review. And I'll see how many track reviews I can do today. But anyways, thank you for watching this Halloween extravaganza movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.